you with the match. We are playing versus Max. Versus Max. So let's get into that. Here's the first turn. We have the second one, of course. And what can we see? A crop releases here. Could be interesting. Uh, Colosseum as well. I'm guessing. I guess he might take Cleopatra here. I mean, that's what I would do. And then maybe I take Colosseum and Enrich Land. Set up the Acropolis. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have Bach, we have Shakespeare, we have Gutenberg, we have Fleming, so yeah, those culture things. Uh, Chaplin as well, but no Malena, Bill Gates, Churchill, Napoleon, Oceanliner Railroad, no Suez, Columbus is here, Himeji. Okay, okay. So for him, it's. Yeah, I would take Cleopatra. He can also take Colosseum. If he takes Colosseum, then I take Cleopatra, Rich Land, and then Acropolis later. Yep. So I want him to take Colosseum, I think. I think for him it's better to, to take Cleopatra. So yeah, let's see what he decides uh, that he wants to do when he does his turn. Hey Lemmings, nice to see ya. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. Um, and we're also having a nice Sunday if Max is playing here, if he does his turn. Uh, he does, he does take Cleopatra. And as I said, I think Richland Colosseum here is the move then. There's not a lot of MAs. So I think I take which land comes here. I'd like to see fortification. <laughs> but I, rage, fortifications, I guess. Yeah, you want to see those lose. Uh, let's see if we get them. If we get those fortifications. Um, maybe we can do without. Maybe we can do. Maybe we can lose with them. Try something new sometimes. So he does he take Acropolis here? Depends a little bit on how up to the up to date on the meta he has. Maybe he's still behind a couple of weeks, month, and thinks Acropolis. Is yeah, apparently he doesn't know that Acropolis is a free win. I guess we go as turtle then. Yeah, I just do this. This is. Perfectly fine. Beat him while he has it, while he has fortifications. It's a challenge, it's a hard one to really influence the outcome of, but I can try to beat him if he has fortifications. Strategic territory and cartography, that's interesting. That's Columbus, but no sewers, sadly, or we could just go colonies. Played Ender again, and I thought I was looking good about 30 points ahead with all production. Gaudi sounds good, sounds good, I think. But I feel a butt is coming. Then he built five pairs with Shakespeare, there's the butt, yeah. And then you lost? Let me guess. You probably lost. But it's not a shame losing against Ender again. Oh, more science. I mean, I could play strategic, grab cartography, it's not bad with Aristotle. Okay, grab engineering genius. Yeah, I think maybe cartography here. I want to grab a tech, play the strategic. Then pop. I can build just one step out of the cartography. And do I want Nostradamus? Um, uh, Barbarossa is also good, also for colonies. The question is what else do I do? Just build one step of Colosseum. Yeah, I don't want Nostradamus here. He's a little bit boring. 
And now we didn't draw a new card to play, so a Nostradamus would have been bad. But Rosa, on the other hand, is a fun leader. Can we grab knights? Grab knights and go for heavy cav with Barbarossa. Oh, I think I like that. For that, we need the knights, though. And maybe irrigation. I guess he could leave the knights on two, then. Yeah, then I might still do it, actually. I think knights it can be quite good uh, with the heavy calf and the Colosseum. Would love Barbarossa, I can get knights and irrigation. Yeah, knights and irrigation would be the dream. If knights come down to one, I can just finish Colosseum, grab the knights and irrigation. Barbarossa the following turn. Get the two extra signs from Aristotle. Yeah, that sounds perfect. But I don't think we get knights on one. I don't think he's grabbing cultural heritage or rich land. Nah, he finishes Stonehenge. There's one civil action left and he, he's not gonna grab cultural heritage or rich land. So knights stay on two. And then we don't get the irrigation. It's maybe still fine. Just finish Colosseum. Grab the knights, maybe develop them. Can't develop them. No, can't develop them. Have to find something else to do. But I think we can do that. He is playing slow. And does he have another option besides finishing Stonehenge? Don't really see it. So it's just one selection he really has to decide what he wants to do with that. First, now with the politics. Okay, we draw a new card, so that's nice. Inhabited is great. Inhabited, yeah. It's all coming together. That's a very nice draw. Border conflict is also a good draw. Maybe inhabit it first. If he continues to play like this, he's gonna have some big timing issues soon. Is Ileonor in? Um, no, but Isabella is. Okay, he takes the knights from us. So I guess I could just grab the irrigation. Another corruption sucks a little bit here. I guess I could always build a warrior. I could go for Barbarossa right now. And I need some warriors for the colonies anyway. doesn't make much sense and yeah it doesn't make too much sense the only question is what else do I do with my civil action I don't want to use the food I guess I could still build an extra lab yeah maybe that's still the move Build that extra lab grab irrigation I don't think he can go for Barbarossa and then even if he does I could just go for Isabella Extra colonization card is great. It's in borders and border conflict, so if we can still get stronger, that would be nice. I guess he could go for Barbarossa. He can only use him once. 
And then he has no food left. So he isn't really that great here. Is he thinking one minute again if he wants to play politics or not? He has to be very careful with the time. Yep, and this time he is. Okay. He does go for Barbarossa. Oh, very mean. And I don't want to play Uncertain Borders or Border Conflict. I guess I'm gonna go Isabella and the Iron. I think I like this turn. Get the iron, get rocks going. Next turn, can go for the irrigation. Don't want these strength things. I think the legion is more likely now that I go for that instead of the heavy calf. It's gonna be quite hard for him to contest the colony still. Yeah, he has Barbarossa, but we have Isabella and the cartography and three colonization cards, so these colonies should be ours. Rebellion doesn't do anything. Next turn, I probably grab a new one. Like, could be Magi, could be St. Pete's. And I like Imeji. St. Pete's isn't bad. I think he got uh, heavy calf. It's very unlikely. But any tactic is dangerous for us, I guess. He got the iron here. Wants to go for the extra military unit next turn, probably. Well, he also played a colony. There's a lot of colonies here. wants to bid high for this, he can have it, honestly. Yeah, I don't need that many cards. I guess it's run rock. I can play run rock. Uh, okay, we can <clears throat> grab the Imagi. Pop, pop. Can we finish Imagi with this? Yeah, the problem is, uh, hey Lightwatch, the problem is I really need Auroria. There's two more great colonies and need Auroria this turn. I guess I could say, oh, I can't take it back, damn, then I should have maybe paid one card and finish Magi, but is finishing Magi this important this turn? I don't know. I spent all the MAs, I need to spend them at some point anyway. So there's still a decision for St. Pete's, but I think Imagi against, yeah, against Barbarossa Image is pretty good. So many colonies, and we could win all of them. That's why I have no problem spamming these, uh, these warriors. Yep, that's gonna be ours as well. I mean, six. Six is easy. He bit four last time, so he has two colonization cards. So if he really wants to pay two knights, I guess let him go for it. Okay, we win it. Um. Yeah, let's pay three rocks. We have enough rocks. I guess I can always pay more rocks. 
the next one I could send one, two, three, four, five, six again. So bad there's no sewers. If there was sewers, there is cook though. Cook could be very high potential. So the resource for the castle. Yeah, we have to decide if we want castle next turn or we want irrigation. But with that extra colony, I guess we have population right now. Could also just upgrade the uh, the iron production. Okay, he goes for the, doesn't show a tactic, but he goes for the St. Pete's. Um, yeah, I think I'd rather upgrade here. Don't need the castle this turn, do I? Uh, two, three, four, five, six, I guess I might. I'll also build one extra. Three, five, six, seven, yeah, like this I can defend. I think the drama would be great. And then just develop one of these. Maybe next turn I finish the Himeji Castle. Doesn't really matter too much. I guess that the drama, I'd keep that in hand for Bach. He can save the, uh, the science. Yeah, he has an uprising now, but uh, he has St. Pete's to cover that. So that's not a big problem. Hmm. He does go for the blunder. I guess maybe I could have built an extra warrior and not finished the image castle next turn. But upgrade food instead. And maybe. Hey Weinbaum. Welcome. And the Acropolis actually was in the game and not taken, so what does that mean? Nobody wins? It's gonna be a draw? Because usually the one player who takes Acropolis wins. That's an official rule they added two months ago or something. But uh, this game, no one took it. So still two more colonies in there. We still have uh, Isabella. I guess next time we just finish the magic castle. It depends a little bit on if he has a tactic or not. If he shows the heavy calf, uh, we might have some problems for the next aggression. But yeah, the next aggression. Okay, there's not gonna be a tactic. Growth or frugality, one of those. I guess breakthrough could also be quite important. We're both very low on science, so maybe I should take the breakthrough. Maybe I do that. Seems like an important card right now. Oh, more colonies and colonization cards. Thank you, Bladder. Now I am become death. 
hey 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 Yakub, thank you very much for 16 months that's quite a long time really appreciate that and welcome back uh, what do i pay just one work here then yeah and we might run new ones no nope, more colonies but not all of that now i am become death the destroyer of worlds now i am become death the destroyer of worlds and jingles for 17 months one more than here coop uh, thank you very much as well welcome back very much appreciated So we just won that one, strategic, we drew one more. I guess we keep playing these territories, perhaps. The next one is historic. We can even lose that if he wants to have that one. And uh, shake, uh, Cook is becoming in a real possibility. He would be producing a lot of uh, culture. We can play two more colonies. Make this a good old colony game, even without the sewers, sadly. We won't have that one. Irrigation for him. Yeah. Burn growth. Don't think we really need to deny navigation. He is very low on science. I mean, so are we. There's no bell, he could be good. Lightwatch, thank you very much for the resub for 15 months. So we had 16, 17, and 15. All the old, uh, the old subs coming in again. Thank you very much, very much appreciated. And yeah, welcome in our awesome civilization with a lot of colonies right now. So a bell just showed up. The bell is important here. If he wants to go for strength, I'm not going to grab Nobel for three here. I can grab the calf, I can upgrade food, maybe increase pop. Yeah, I think Cavalryman is a good tech. Calf seems important. The rest, not so much. Just upgrading the food, increasing pop. It's very solid. Also, guys, just one more sub and we have a hype train. Can we get anybody else to resub? We're starting to amass a little bit of science, which is good. Because that means we could go for the Conmon. I mean, we can't even go for Republic if he leaves that. Yeah, we could go Republic. We have Colosseum. Um, there is no uh, is Napoleon and strategy is also still there. Historic. And would we take that? Yeah, I guess we need happy faces soon anyway. But not too much. How much did he, did he bid last time? Enough for hype train. It is enough for Hype Train Nightwatch. Thank you very much for the 100 bits and the Hype Train is here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, he bit the 5 last time. Yeah, let's bit 5. He wants to have it, he doesn't want to have it. Then we take it. <laughs> so the Hype Train is here. Thanks. Thanks. Haven't had a lot of Hype Train in a long time, I have to say. Grab the railroad now. Uh, why? Why do I have to do that? Explain. Because of the hype channel. That completely flew over my head and didn't make that connection at all. Yes, I might have to take the railroad now. The train. 
Damn, didn't didn't catch that one. Good one, good one. So do we play something that next turn? I don't think he played another colony, did he? Also, there's not a lot left. So I think we can play the vast. I'm very glad that he didn't have a tactic for his knights. Or it would be... Yeah, I mean with the magic cards we might be fine, but it would be more dangerous, to say the least. Okay, he does grab the Republic away from us. Which is no problem, we can still go for Cornwall. Breakthrough comes down to two. Let's, Bach. Yeah, let's play the Vast. Special influence doesn't do much. And do I want to go for Cap? Means we can't go for Cornwall if it comes out. We also don't want to have a full hand. Cap could still be nice. We could build one. We also want Warrior for the colonies. Get stronger than him. Howard. Yeah, but maybe next turn, this turn, Howard. I guess. I don't think we want Nobel. I mean, Nobel is great. The two signs doubles ours. But there's Bach, James Cook. Just feels like if I go for Nobel, I don't have civil actions. I can't really war him. Then he just transitions into, Sh into Bach, which he's already doing with the opera. He just goes for Bach. Or produces us in culture so heavily. Let me build some Warrior. And Howard College is pretty good here, yeah. And we keep the option open for Cornmon. We only grab one card, so it's more likely to come out during our turn. Maybe like that. Okay, more colonization cards. There are damn Cornmon. But Cornmon. Yeah, he can grab Bach and Conmon. So he will deny that. And we will be on low civil actions maybe for the rest of the game. I mean, we can still get justice. He can't also deny that. I mean, he can, but will he? That's the other question. Finish the Howard, maybe. Maybe we get the rifles then. Could then even. We could still go for Napoleon. We have a war with territory in hand, but no tactic. That's the biggest problem right now. Bach, no Conmon? Yes, Conmon. There's one more knight with Barbarossa. I think arms industry is safe to play. We're gonna go for Cavalman. We get Rifleman. Yeah. Choo choo. Yes, choo choo. Ouch. 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 That's some food lost. Not the biggest problem. We have a healthy yellow bang, but. It's certainly not nice, and we get might get more. Um, and we had too much food anyway. Maybe it's fine. Grab the rifles. Oh, hey Jim! Nice to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Good to have you. Uh, Cold War. I want to keep the two colonization cards. And the war of territory is still interesting. Punishing Bach, perhaps. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I have to be happy about the tactic, but not being able to play anything. Maybe, maybe it's fine. And there's Cook. I guess we're gonna go Cook then. It's easy culture production. I uh, don't like how it colors that much with him denying the government. Well, we did that when we didn't know if there was a uh, Kornman or not. There was still a 50 50, or even more likely for us to get the Kornman. And that was exactly why we went for the Harvard College in a way. We wanted to not spend any science to be able to go for the uh, Kornmon. But at least the tactic is good. Uh, and yeah, we can go for H3 governments. We have good science production now. Five science is quite nice. He's grabbing a lot of expensive cards for a lot of uh, CA. He might have to grab strategy. Mm, probably not the cannon. And he also has some some good CAs. I don't know, maybe I should have grabbed Republic for three when it came out, but that's very costly. <clears throat> Your job schedule keeps you from watching as much as you'd like. That is horrible. Job keeping you from watching is it's not how it's supposed to be. If we get strategy, we could go for war perhaps. Or maybe too early, maybe the following turn. Could go Cavalryman. Okay, nah. I thought we would get the strategy, but sadly no. He <laughs> also even more knights. Even more knights. I'm gonna go cook, so I don't wanna play one more card. I could just do this and grab cook this turn. Because else I'll lose the CA anyway. And this way I get a lot of culture production this turn. Maybe it's just this. Oh, getting rid of colonization cards feels horrible at the moment. I guess I just play the tactic. He, I mean, he can copy it, but it's not easy for him. I really want to keep the colonization cards and the war. We should still be able to win the colonies. We have uh, the cartography and we have cook. Oh, one more colony. All the colonies here. Man, we are even ready for a big war, and there is and there is Gandhi. That makes it more complicated. Um, but we have all the H two techs. But we're missing some MAs. Turn to switch to culture. What's the most you think I've got in one game? You mean culture production or total culture? I think total culture is still me and Wide Mom had that one game where we had I don't know that I think that was the record on TTA pulls. He's going for war with tech? He can't do that. He's not allowed to do that, is he? Apparently he is. But we have a magic castle. Oh, colonies, colonies, ah, colonies, uh, poof. like seven or eight, I probably got seven or eight at some point. Arms industry, sadly, um, I mean, colony would have been better, I guess. I mean, just win this, what is he doing? <laughs> Uh, oh, we, oh, then it wasn't better. Then the arms industry was the perfect thing to get. Because now, yeah. 
Sadly, we don't have enough to steal this strategy. Ah, we don't have enough to steal strategy. We're missing... What are we missing? We sacrifice... Oh no, we can. With the sacrifice from Magic Magicals, we can steal the strategy. I, I thought we were unlucky, but getting the arms industry was the perfect thing to get. That was... Uh, we needed all the rocks here. And now we get his strategy. That is perfect. Yeah, 10. We steal 10. We steal. Oh, wait, do we. No, we don't sack that. This is also enough. Yeah, this is exactly 8. Then we do this. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we can warm back. <laughs> yeah, warming him back here is. I don't know why he did that. I mean, yeah, he thought he would win, but even if we didn't get the arms on the street, we had the magic castle to defend. He should have just concentrated on going for a lot of operas. I think. Tilted. I think he's gonna be tilted now. Maybe it was before, but uh, I mean, before I don't think he had a reason to be tilted before that. Uh, but hopefully, is now. Yeah, Bach isn't that good if you don't have operas. He, I mean, he can't. He can't go for them now. He doesn't have the science. Then how much is two extra knights for him? Two extra knights is uh, four, five, six, seven. So we can just declare the war back, probably. Boss Gross, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you enjoy your stay in our awesome civilization, which just defended itself. I mean, we don't have much urban buildings going on, but we have colonies and military and wonders. We have some nice wonders here. Also very military heavy, so we are kind of a very expansional civilization. We have military, military wonders and colonies. There's another territory. If he wants to send an army, he can win this. That's two, six, seven, as we said, eight, nine. If he wants a bit nine, he can have it. He wins it, <laughs> but we have the war to declare back. I've been watching uh, YouTube videos for a while. Good to catch uh, stream final. Yes, good to have you. Good to have you. I mean, this gives him the science that he needs. I don't know, maybe I should have gone higher, but uh, I can't punish with the war of territory now. I could have gone, I could have even have gone higher, I could have sent the war, but nah, I think this is, this is fine. Just have to be careful that there's vast as well, so we might have to... Okay, so transition to cannons. No, so it's not getting the opera. Okay, no war. No war here. No war. What is with these famous guys? Do they not have any new texts? Um, so we can't declare the war. He went all on military. But he's still not producing any culture. Um, I think military buildup might be very important here. But what else? I could grab a movies. Yeah. Grab movies, can go for the next turn. If he goes for culture, we follow. I mean, if he goes to one 
opera now, or two even, we can keep up with the movies. All the culture, balance and wonders. Wonders, no, no. Balance, uh, yeah, it's okay. But for that, multimedia would be better. We could still go for multimedias. Biggest problem is civil actions. So we're still waiting for a new government form. When we get a new government form, we are fine. And the one thing we also have is the territories would be great with the military buildup. That's why I thought it was really important to grab it. We can just send something away, rebuild easily with the military buildup. He no, he doesn't need tanks anymore. Now the question for him is, does he copy our tactic? Because if he copies, he's gonna get a little bit stronger. But he doesn't have the extra MA, so he might not. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely playing an impact. Probably into Wonders. Feels, feels like something we can play. Balance, I mean, it's also good right now. And he might lose some of the science production if he rebuilds these into operas. He's not gonna go movies. And if I then go for multimedia, even though nah, balance also needs extra food, so I don't know. He does copy. Take plus one of those. Yeah, then let's play the wonders here. Last territory it is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, balance depends on where the game goes. Wonders doesn't really, so I can just play Wonders right now and then see later what what happens. I'm not sure if I really have to pay 11 if I would send away both wars or do I keep one of the wars and get rid of the balance. Because that he switched decks and then built a knight. Yeah, very. He had enough rocks for a cannon. But he didn't... Ah, I guess he didn't want to get stronger because of uh, enabling the military build-up. If he built an extra cannon, would have the tactic again, then he would be stronger. So I guess that's the reason. But that also signals he wants to send... Or he wants to build a lot more cannons. If he, knights, if he needs five knights. Oh, he wins this one. Hopefully that's expensive. It's a full army, yeah. Uh, then we can just go for the movies, I think. Twelve culture production. And then maybe ref. Biggest problem is I can't go for democracy if it comes out. I can grab it. Fleming, Fleming. I'm not sure when am I when gonna am I gonna go for Fleming. Uh, Coke is producing five culture. Fleming would produce three right now. I uh, don't, don't like it as much. I, I think I'd rather deny the ref. <laughs> I mean, it's not that insane, 12 to 6, but it's still nice. And there's one more colony that we might be able to win. Yeah, there's a lot of good leaders. I mean, Chaplin works great right now. Gandhi, Churchill, all, all our options. We have quite the culture lead now, 20 culture, oh, maybe 15, 15 is still quite good.
But yeah, the one problem I have, I can't go for democracy if it comes out on three here. Because of the ref. Because I can't play the ref and then grab democracy and play it, so... Maybe, maybe democracy comes down to two if he grabs a lot of cards. That would be nice. How about the one that's fast food, space flight, UN and Empire State? Ah, it's too early for one us right now. We we can't grab them. We need a new government form first. Communism would be great too. Yeah, but communism has the same problem. The interesting thing happens when there's fundamentalism. If fundamentalism comes out on three, we could grab that one and go for it. And then we really would be threatening him if we go for fundamentalism. If there's Cold War, maybe not. Uh, I think we had Cold War. If I remember that correctly, uh, yes, we had Cold War. And there isn't really anything else from H2 that gives extra signs. Unless he maybe played Autonomous for us. Okay, build scans and get stronger. So this might be something bad, but I still play my impact here. And there's, there is the interesting fundamentalism. I think I still play the colonies, even if it's refugees. That is worth playing. So the unrest doesn't do anything. Okay. And now there's the question of fundamentalism. Okay. Fundamentalism, on the other hand, denies the military buildup. I can't go for both this time. So maybe no fundamentalism. Just another army. And maybe one urban growth. Or reserves. And not we have probably urban growth. We still might have to deny fundamentalism, we can still go for it next turn. We are in no hurry. And then with the urban growth, especially if we win the inhabited, we can build another movies. Balance is becoming I mean balance is still good. Don't build the army, don't need to be stronger. But I like being stronger. I mean we don't know what this is. Could be good to be stronger and I kind of want to use the military build-up because what else do I do this turn? I, there's not much to do. I can only grab one card because I could play Rev. Grab Urban Growth, but I don't want to take another card. Warrior for the colony. Yeah, but then we still Missing civil action. I think I like the army here. I don't even need to build both. Could go for one extra movie this turn. Uh, yes. But... Well, I mean, uh, maybe, yeah, I guess. Maybe this is a good deal. One problem we might run into, we don't have enough rocks for Wanda, but Wanda's... It's still early enough for the extra movies. I think I like this, actually. The balance is pretty good. EG... Yeah, the problem with EG is I don't want a full hand again. I can't... So after this, I can't just grab EG, then I can't go for democracy if it comes out. I need hand space. So I need to play the ref. Yeah, despotism does that to you. Doesn't give you that many options. G 
chaplain, okay. There's parity. Even more food, and then there's inhabited on top. Times classical, you mean modern? Yeah, that is an option. There's fundamentalism. We have Ruffman in hand. We have the military buildup enabled if we get the fundamentalism, and then we have a war to threaten him. That is possible, 100%. The movie produced one food. <laughs> yeah, the movie is dead, and that uh, is going to be important because in two turns, I mean, the inhabited might change it, but not really, right? Might be important that you extra food. Was there even a single strength event this game? Well, there were a lot of colonies. And strength, uh, no. No strength events. <laughs> Not a single one. That's actually crazy. Yeah. And that wasn't because there was no strength. We had an early Barbarossa. We had a war. So there was strength involved in this game, but just no strength events. That's quite interesting. And he builds one more opera here, then he's kind of full. Not much else to do. So I guess he goes to military. Only a devastating war of attack. Yeah, the, de the war of attack was devastating. Luckily for him, not for us. Losing the strategy is quite bad. It was so useful having the extra maze. Both of us have such a big yellow bank. Yeah, colonies, man. They give you good yellow banks. He got vast and developed. And we got... What does he do? Go for extra. Okay. Fundamentalism is an option here. We got inhabited. We only got inhabited. But we sent away so many units, I guess. Um, balance. Yeah, let's play balance. Play balance, win the war. Uh, win the colony. Or whatever we send. We don't have to send the tactic. I want to go for that. I think that should be hard for him to win. If he wants to send another army, no, he doesn't want that at all. Okay, is he preparing for war? No. no. Um, and I think we threaten war then. Yes. Problem is. Let's see here. So the service is great as well. It also makes progress very good. Very good. Means we don't get riflemen. I meant military theory. He doesn't have any science. Yeah, he gets patriotism and reserves, but we still have the culture lead. I guess I could just grab a wonder, but it's not guaranteed that we finish wonders this game. Can wait for better government. Yeah, but the fundamentalism isn't a bad government here. I guess it makes the a bit of balance bad. So I could just go for civil service. Right, but right mean, means you can't go for government. Grab Chaplin. What are the other options? Churchland, Gandhi. A 
why do we not have camera anymore? Um, <laughs> only option for both of us? Not really. Uh, Churchill is always an option. I kind of like spending the rocks here. And the double modern army is very expensive anyway. Building four riflemen. communism and then there's still democracy happiness it won't be played but uh, progress definitely might especially if we get a new government form which I think we will colonies 6 to 15 a lot of colonies this game Variety is also fine. Yeah, you can just play pros and variety. Um, could I mean, United Nations is an option. We have enough rocks next turn. We have 16. Empire State is also possible, but not as great. I mean, he has to fail. He has to make the first move. He has to decide if he wants to grab a wonder here, and he kind of has to grab one. And then I can just grab United Nations if he grabs space flight. Could even get engineering and then the pro is gonna be even better. I mean he has nothing there, he's one code of laws and monarchy. If we also get the engineering, progress will be quite good. But it might be hard getting engineering and the government form, so probably just the government. Yeah, there's also no more science here. So I think we're looking good for the end game here. We still have, uh, I mean, the input of wonders doesn't look so good, but balance is pretty good. He's only on one science. Now yeah, we lose six culture production when Cook is gone, but he also loses uh, five when Shakespeare is gone, uh, when Bach is gone, so yeah, seems fair. The Rock of Communism, you have enough resource for one more movie and to finish again at the end. Do we? I guess we produce two times movies, you have urban growth and then plus one rock, yeah. That is true. You miscalculate, really? Um, 16 plus 4 is 20. Oh no, but we only produce once. We don't produce twice. You did calculate correctly, but where do we get the extra rocks? We're only producing once. If we also get reserves, maybe? We'll see, we'll see. First of all, Max has to do his move. 
just gonna involve, uh, I don't know, he can't build more operas. He doesn't have any science to research anything. <laughs> Shouldn't do math on a Sunday. Yeah, that should be uh, not a part of the Sunday. Is there possible reserves in H4? This is the last reserve. If we get this one, oh, what, what did he grab? He grabbed the UN. That may be the only option he had. So one last 12 to 12. I like the democracy here. Or commun communism now. Let me see if we get the reserves. Do we have enough? No, I don't think we do. We just this and grab chaplain. We don't need the reserves. Oh no, we do. We're missing one rock if we don't. Just grab the reserves then. Yeah, I think this is gonna be it. Yeah, with the reserves we have enough for the Empire State, that's good. Said we lose the culture production now, but so does he. Only before when we lose uh, the pens here, right? We can build one religion with the urban growth. We have reserves, we could build one food. We have options to still improve this. Yeah, right now it's, uh, oh no, it's still on 21 because, what is it? Oh, strength, strength, culture and science. But he can regain the culture. So we might win food, we might win rocks. We have the same there, so with that reserves. Yeah, and the urban growth, we have some extra, extra wheel room. But science is also great. Impact population is very bad, but science is great. Well, on my turn, uh, no ties. Uh, ties don't count. Let's make egg and efficient upgrade. And we have that Howard College. So we could upgrade our food like that. That is free. Could be interesting if he doesn't grab the efficient upgrade. And then what he do needs to do, grab and play Gandhi. Two selections to select for United Nations. Now we got to Churchill? That's wrong. Okay, even if there's strength, it doesn't matter for us. Hey peasant, welcome. Not Jonas anymore, or Jonas. Uh, Emperor of Science is a win, so let's go for that. Emperor of Strength, okay, yeah. He signaled as much, but we weren't contesting for that anyway. What we can do is upgrade this for free. Uh, we win, win culture, strength, okay, resource. Like this. Get this for 28. And this is good for balance, right? Yeah, this is the best for balance. One lab. And yeah, I guess he took away Churchill, so we don't get a leader, but that just means a better, better impact of, uh, or better and by state for us. Impact of industry, seven to six. Balance 10 to 2, that one hurts for him. Science 10 to 0. And the last one, progress 18 to 4. Yeah, 18 to 4. So impacts then in the end make it not close at all. So yeah, nice game. Was uh, very interesting. Some early military uh, stalemate, if you want to call it that. Without any strength events. Then followed up by a very, very important war. 
that we were able to win. And that means puntos, puntos. 19 plus 30, that's nice. 